let's go. Luca, <laughs> nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Welcome back in Amsterdam. Great, great right. to be here. It's been a challenging year, right, last year. What happened? Yeah, well, it was very difficult because you had inflation going through the roof, central banks hiking rates, and also growth has been much weaker than expected. So very negative for almost all asset uh, classes. But the main word was inflation, or was there more last year? I think inflation was the main, the main reason but let's not forget that the valuation of most asset classes was also expensive. So, as always, a combination of factors. But you're here for the outlook for 2023. So please tell us what brings the new year for you, for us. It's going to be brighter than in 2022. Inflation is falling. Yes, growth is going to be weaker. But then there is the reopening of China that will bring a little bit of growth back in the global economy. And central banks are probably coming to an end of this very painful period of monetary tightening. So some reason to be optimistic, but not uh, too optimistic. And if we look at the different asset classes like equities, bonds, maybe alternatives, which one is the most appealing for this year? We expect single digit returns of both equities and bonds. Uh, I think the most interesting asset class is going to be emerging markets, okay. bonds and equities, and especially China. I think this is the key area given that you have a peak in the dollar, the reopening in China and good valuation. So it will be a good year. Yes, but again, no reason to be too optimistic because there is still very weak growth and inflation is still with us. But yes, it's going to be a good year for investors. Nothing spectacular though. Okay, that's quite good to hear. Thank you for being here. And Thank you. Maybe uh, we see you next uh, we Sure, see you next always week. happy to be here.